Welcome to United by Trucks. Today, on this episode of What's in My Driveway, we're checking out Andy Elliott's 67 F100. Pretty good. I'm trying to get a hold of you for months, right? <laughs> <laughs> thanks for uh, thanks for coming over today, man. Yeah, man. Glad to finally make it. Andy Elliott, and this is my 67 F100. Andy, thanks for coming over today, man. We really yeah, man. appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Appreciate well, it. Tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about how you got the truck. We had just put my 40 Buick in the shop, doing a big project on that, and uh, didn't really have anything to play with at the time, so got a little bored, and uh, the wife saw me looking at stuff and didn't fight me on it, so I... I said we're gonna go get a truck and uh, I, I didn't really want something that uh, was gonna have to do a build on or or mess with too much I wanted to drive it since we were already working on one and uh, yeah. found this one up in Kentucky me and her made a road trip made a weekend out of it uh, liked it and brought her home all right awesome. yeah when you bought it what was what kind of condition was it in so the previous owner did an awesome job with it it's almost just like you see it right now we've changed the stance of polished it up some and the outside was a little uh, little dry paint was was drying out didn't shine so but besides that it was uh, all set that's sweet so the first thing I noticed when you pulled in the driveway is this thing has an unbelievable stance and a perfect wheel and tire package can you tell us a little bit about what you got going on as far as the wheels and tires go yeah so they're uh, race line billets 20s up front 22 by 12s in the rear Whoa. Um, squeezed a 325 on there <laughs> yeah. uh, the, the back is uh, mini tubbed um, got a cool little detail to extend the uh, wheel wells out a little bit to fit them up under there has the uh, axle been narrowed in the rear uh, no okay so you were able to with custom back spacing and mini tubbing it fit those 12 inch yep 12 inch wide wheels with a lip i mean they, they have like a pretty extensive lip so. oh yeah and they're raceline classicos sweet well they are really really perfect for this truck i mean they've got the bronze powder coat or whatever coating i guess maybe the raceline put it on there whatever it is the bronze on there fits the patina patina perfectly uh, as far as tires go so you said you've got a 325 25 uh, 325 35 325 35 22 yep in the rear and then on the front what size are those those are 255 40 20 okay yeah. 255 40 20s in the front 325 35 22s in the back and they're continental tires yep which we love continental so that, that's a 31 inch tire tucked <laughs> up in the back there that's awesome <laughs> so we're running uh we're running continental tires on ubtk5 and they are sweet just, yeah i love uh, them i mean they are they're killer. sticky too yeah they are they're killer so um cool well let's move uh right up the, the body of the truck let's talk a little bit about the stance that is one thing that you really had your hands all over i know when we tried to do this the last time you had the tour in, the rear end <laughs> torn completely apart you were like nah i can't do it just yet so Tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about the stance and what you've done there. Yeah, so I've taken it apart four or five times now. The front is uh, dropped on dream beams, and then it's got some uh, two-inch lowering springs from Eaton, and then have swapped out a couple of different uh, isolator sizes yeah. to, to just kind of dial it in perfect. And then in the rear, it's got uh, shackles and um, hangers for a three-inch drop. And then the overload leaf has been removed. So that got me about another three quarters of an inch there. Then had to get some custom shocks off a of C10, actually. Okay, um, very cool. <laughs> Ford and GM merge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Well, this thing has a killer rake. And I know that, you know, I'm a GM guy. And all the Ford guys tell me we've got it easy from a suspension perspective. So I know dealing with, with I-beams and uh, doing the drop beam and all that, it is it's something that that guys don't always end up doing they end up doing some sort of crown big swap or something like that yeah the, the i beams aren't fun to deal with in fact i was this close to changing the pivot point on them and just 
talked myself out of it, but I think I am going to actually do that at some point. That's cool. Um, just to, to fix the geometry and get it down another uh, inch or so. You definitely achieved the stance. I mean, it's got the hot rod rake with a really modern classic wheel that I think just suits this truck perfectly. I mean, it's, it's a really nice setup. Appreciate it. So keeping with the theme of moving up the body of the truck, we're going to jump right in the hood and talk about the drivetrain a little bit. And I know it's a 360. I know it's a uh, C6 transmission, but what else do you have going on under the hood and, and for the drivetrain of this truck? So it's a fairly stock setup, like you said, 360 uh, backed by a C6. It's got some engine dress up under there, uh, real clean under the hood. Uh, manual steering, manual brakes for now. That's yeah. probably the next thing to happen will be power, uh, power discs and power steering. Very cool. um, does it stop those billets pretty well? Oh, oh yeah, it does. It's uh, a had to slam them on and, uh, and lock them up and they work just fine yeah, so that's awesome that's, yeah. all you, that's all you need all you stops, you're good yeah <laughs> one thing i noticed when i was looking under the hood is that there is a, a really nice dress up kit on it and the main thing that sticks out to me is obviously the color and the valve covers so what can you tell us a little bit about about that setup going on in the uh, so it's a, a finned edelbrock um setup um I forget the model number off the top of my head, but uh, yeah, powder coated to match the race line wheels and uh, the patina on the outside, so it came out really nice. Yeah, it did. It's, it's a nice way to tie back the underhood to the outside and exterior of the truck. I mean, that again, that bronze just really ties in perfectly with the patina, and it has me thinking all sorts of different things on my own trucks, particularly my <laughs> patina trucks. I'm like, you know what? That bronze lo really looks great with the, yeah, uh, yeah. the, the surface rust. And so. the brown leather. Yeah, brown leather. <laughs> Speaking of brown leather, thank you for the uh, perfect segue there. Let's talk about this awesome interior. I mean, my wife walked up a few minutes ago and just said, man, this is nice. Like, this is really, really nice. And you can tell that I have not put her in something that nice. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, tell us a little bit about what's done to the interior. Yeah, you you almost forget you're in an old beat up truck when you're sitting in it. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, but yeah, it's a, a TMI setup. Uh, they actually quit making that uh, particular uh, color and okay. texture. But yeah, it's got the uh, the hog rings and the seats, and and it's got a little custom console. Uh, with a marine head unit to, to go along with it give, yeah. you, give you some tunes so that's really really cool and it's it's not just the seat i mean it is door panels headliner dash, dash headliner yeah. yeah i mean so it, it is a complete interior package and we were talking a little bit about this a minute ago it's got recessed uh, map pockets in the door panels and the fit and finish of it is, is really surprising i mean it, it is it's really cool how well that, that yeah tmi together. does a really really amazing job with getting what looks like a totally custom interior out of a, a box yeah. essentially yeah that's, that's a great that's way sweet. to put it yeah so there's some really cool unique touches about this truck um, that we can talk about but before we do that i think you've got a pretty exciting plan uh, for the future once you get done with your 40 you know this truck appears to be next so what's what are you going to do to this truck to take it to the next level yeah so first off don't let my wife see this video uh, <laughs> about to, about to make this like a bonus <laughs> yeah um but yeah in, so in your dreams what do you want it to be so once the once the buick is done this is next in line uh for a drivetrain not sure if i'm going to do a totally modern engine yet or stay with a crate motor and overdrive yeah. transmission but it's either a coyote or of like a 408 stroker one of those two setups probably go to a narrowed crown vic front end and a four link rear just to really get the stance perfect it's close but it's it's not yeah. quite there well i would say i would say the stance is perfect but you may <laughs> want you know something that can handle a little more power once you yeah. get off into into changing drive trains and frankly ride better i yeah. imagine that those those suspension setups ride better do you ever think about putting airbags on it or are you going to always stick with sort of a static coilover type setup? um no because i don't really care to sit this one on the ground yeah. um to me, yeah, I just want it to handle right, drive right. Really quickly before we jump in this thing and take a ride, a couple of unique sort of touches on this truck that we were talking about. What are some of the some of those and some of the favorite things that you love about the truck? Obviously, outside of stance and wheels and tires and interior. Yeah, so I, I think initially it was a uh, used for some service on a farm. Okay. So it's got a trailer hitch in the bed, like a fifth like a wheel fifth setup. Wheel yeah, yeah. Um, with a cross member going across there, which. Uh, the bedwood and stained bedwood and around it it's uh it's not a you know your typical bedwood setup it's just literally 
a stained wood floor. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, but it, it goes pretty well with the uh, those widened fender wells yeah, and uh, just looks cool back there. For the stainless trim, uh, drip rail and around the windows, the door handles, um, all that's been kind of SOS padded, yeah. uh, giving it a, a brushed finish instead of just a full on shine. Well, this is a very uh, comprehensive truck. Like everything goes together seems like it's pretty well thought out. Actually, it seems like it's really well thought out. And I knew when I saw the truck, I was like, I want to lay my eyes on this and, potentially, and, you know, and likely put a camera on it. Um, so it's it's really, really cool. I'm, I'm excited that you came over today. And thanks for letting us take a look at it. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, man. Why don't we jump in this thing and go for a ride, though? Let's do it. All right. even get in I mean I just got to stop and look at this again <laughs> this interior is awesome and I'll be honest with you I was not a TMI fan no. before I saw these seats <laughs> and I've seen them in other trucks but for some reason they fit this truck perfectly I mean yeah. it's got visors the color really is it's just perfect the dash pad got the race line steering wheel with it wrapped sweet little console setup so tell me about the kicker setup you got going here uh yeah so no uh kick panel speakers or anything in this thing so the only speakers i've got right now are a couple of six inches in there uh hooked straight up to the kicker it runs off a little auxiliary switch so oh man that's clean um when we move the gas tank up under the bed we'll uh we'll do a full system in it very cool yeah for now shoot for now i mean it I literally throw a JBL speaker up on the up on <laughs> the way? dash. Uh, just go right. Cool. Looking out over this hood kind of reminds me of Teddy, my green '68. <laughs> it's got a pretty good bit of patina like this, and when I film, this is about what it looks like across the hood. Yeah, just really, really cool, man. Like a quick run around the block. I just wanted to give the viewers a little bit of an idea of what it looks like to ride in this awesome truck, man. So you mentioned widened wheel tubs, so you can see those back there. Yeah, I even like the strap and how they're attached to the uh, yeah, to the they, wheel well. They did a really cool job with that. But I mean, for as much as it's lowered, it, it rides awesome, super smooth. Yeah, not bumpy. I have to say these seats probably help. I mean, I feel like I'm being wrapped up in these seats. Yeah, they're, they're nice. <laughs> they are really, really nice. All right, TMI, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Yeah, or, order it now. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh yeah, Dakota digital gauges. Oh yeah, we left that flat out. something that's overly uh, it's overly loud. loud yeah but what uh what's the exhaust setup on it uh, it's uh, two and a half inch piping and uh, Flowmaster original 40s sweet um, yeah that 360 though it's just got a nice kind of deep not too loud nice rumble yeah it really is pretty mellow and no no crazy drone no. or anything like that sorry I took you down the road with all the speed bumps that's no, cool but it's a nice pretty drive yeah, so these are the map pockets that I was talking about. I think I'm most impressed by how these are recessed into the door panel. Just 
something about patina, man. It does it for me. This thing's got plenty of it. So no C-notch in the back? No C-notch. Okay. If, uh, if it were any lower at all, it would need it for sure. But, uh, <laughs> I was able to do enough massaging to where it uh, even hit some pretty good bumps. And that's all awesome. bottom it out. It's got no bump stops. But it's right, right. <laughs> it's going to be metal to metal. But try to keep it from hitting. Yeah, those it, wheels it's crazy and tires the are on actually thing. not that easy to get on and off of there anymore. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I bet. We were talking a minute ago. I was like, man, this thing's tucking tire. No, this thing's tucking wheel. Like, it is tucking wheel static. Yeah, and that you got to wedge it up in there. That's really cool. I bet. I'm sure they're lighter than steel wheels, but I bet those things are still heavy. Oh, they're heavy. Yeah. I'm sure they are. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to this episode of What's in My Driveway right here on United by Trucks. We have had a blast checking out Andy Elliott's 67 F100. If you can't tell in the video, this thing is the complete package, whether it's wheel and tire, stance, interior, drivetrain, patina, this thing is perfectly put together and really looks killer coming down the road. So we hope you've enjoyed checking out Andy's 67 F100. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. We do a lot of these type videos on the channel and we've got more coming. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to, if you like what you've seen, and definitely smash the thumbs up button if you like what you've seen as well. Leave a comment down below, let us know what you think about Andy's 67 F100 and maybe even let us know what your favorite part is. We'll catch you next time right here on United by Trucks. Cue the music.